Ah, hey everybody, how you doing? So, as you can see, we've just touched down back on Torrington Base. And it just so happens that this legendary suit, the GPO2, has just been delivered today as well. So, this is definitely one of my favourite suits. As you know, I'm a big fan of 0083 and the Stardust memory. So, what I would give to have a chance to pilot this absolutely brilliant beast of a suit. Well, I can just hope one day, maybe. Oh no. Oh, I think we're being attacked again. Well, this is my opportunity. Let's go. Somebody, somebody stop Unit 2! I'm sorry, Nina, no chance. I'm taking the GPO2 and I'm going to defend this base. Instant Virtual Boy launching. Let's do this. What's happening, troops? Instant Virtual Boy here reporting for duty. Hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to Gundam Battle Operation 2. And as you know already, today we're sorting in the Gundam GPO2, as seen in Stardust Memory. Hands down, my favourite of the Gundam anime, so... I know it's not always looked at as the best, but it's my favourite, so... Plenty of action, plenty of fighting, plenty of Gundam. So, uh, this is a raid version, it's got the Beam Bazooka, Really good Vulcans, and it's got a cool beam sword as well, or beam saber. It's also got a really cool animation. So, in my team, we've got the Methus, uh, a Dryson, a ZQN's Type Two loadout, a GPO Three, keeping in keeping in the track of Stardust Memory, and a Gazelle. So, I just managed to, if you saw that there, I just managed to clip the. There's another GPO Two, but it's a MLRS support version. So, he's going to be one of my targets for this match. It's gonna have another shot here, but yeah, miss, unfortunately. I do like the Beam Bazooka. It's got uh, quite a long cooldown time though, and I'm maybe not the best at aiming with it, so. Just take a shot at that uh, Gundam, I think it's uh, Unit 4, BST, I think. Just took it out anyway, so. Uh, I'm gonna. I feel like when I play this suit, it's pretty good for hit and run. So I'll make a, I'll make an attack and then I'll come back. I'll charge my bazooka like I'm doing now. In the air shot, unfortunately, I managed to only clip a shield there. But you saw that gliding through the air down onto the roof. Just get past him and then tag him with my, my sword. So yeah, I really, really like this suit, and I've been trying for a long time to get around in it. But I've just recently bought the 550 cost. So, just took out the MLRS there, so... But yeah, like I was saying, the 550 cost, I think it really shines there. I have had it at 600 for a while, but... I uh, see that, diving down, take out, uh, knock down two of them at the same time, yes! Although that, uh, Unit 4 BST is going to get some payback on me here. Done a lot of damage to me, very nearly, uh, completely totaled my legs, but... Going to try and bail. It does have a, a great top speed all round, although it's walking pace is pretty slow, so... It's got a tackle, nice backflip animation, yes! Take that! Gato would be proud! And then that Dryson just knocked me over, and then essentially got me killed. Uh, so I was a little bit salty and put thanks in the chat, I don't always do it, but... I was really focused on getting a good round in this, and... I didn't want it to get messed up. So the enemy are just uh, uh, in the lead by a little bit, a uh, little margin currently. So it looks like I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna charge my beam. Maybe hit that. Yes, hit that unit four again. Nice. Did a good bit of damage considering uh, he's got advantage on me. I say, yeah, I'm just gonna pull back again. <laughs> charge my. Uh, charge my beam bazooka. Managed to tag that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a Gaza D or a Gaza C. I'll put it here for you, the correct suit. I don't use them enough to, to be able to know. Now we're going to bail. <laughs> I think I've, yeah, I've overheated my beam bazooka, so... I don't really make the most of my Vulcans in this match, which is silly because they are really strong Vulcans, and I'm sure they've got a really good rate of fire too. Yeah, I'm going to use them here. Yeah, it's a really good rate of fire. It doesn't take off that much damage because I think that's the full armor mark two there. Uh, I've got disadvantage, so that'll be why it was only taking off fifty per bullet. 
Oh, pardon me, sorry. Although I'm going to scoot round here, and there's that MLRS again. Nice. Should be able to tag him. I hit his shield, unfortunately, but I did manage to take him out there with my, my beam saber. And I'm going to say sorry because I just knocked over our Gazelle, unfortunately. Okay, so my beam bazooka is ready. I'll get it charged again and we'll go do some damage. I just I missed that suit there by quite some distance. I think that's maybe the Barzam Custom there. Managed to get a counter tackle on me, fair play to him. Although I was kind of making it obvious with my, my big swing coming in. Is that, uh, that full armor Mark II again? Should be able to get a few hits on him here. Nice with the beam bazooka. Then, yeah, finish him off with my, my beam saber. I really do like the animation with the beam saber. You also gain a lot of ground as well when you do it, so. Okay, we're going to pull back again. Uh, charge my beam bazooka. Yeah, you can see that's pretty much how it's going. Hit and run. I think that's... Just managed to tag him from across the map there. That was lucky. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the best way that I can play it is a hit and run kind of uh, tactic. But if if you play it a different way, let me know because I'll be open to trying new tactics. Okay. Maybe tag this Gaza again. But yeah, I'm getting... I don't know who I'm getting attacked by there. Uh, it was the Unit 4 BST again, but he was just taken out, so... Uh, just to let you know, I've got a guest round coming soon from uh, Forged Heroes and their Zeta uh, plus C1, so look forward to that too. And if you have any rounds that you want to send to me, yes, nor tackle. Uh, if you have any more rounds that you want to send to me, just drop me a message in the comments, uh, and then I'll give you my email and you can send it over. So, that's only if you want a feature. I was taken out by the, the Gaza. Okay, so it's the Gaza D. Nice. Uh, just taken out by him there. Um, well, we've got just a tiny little lead at this point. Going into the last minute and 30 seconds. Hopefully we can maintain it. Missed my big beam bazooka again there. But managed to get an assist to my Vulcan charge. Mm, yeah, managed to get a tackle on him. Nice. If I'm lucky, I should be able to stun him. Not quite. And uh, Dryson took me out again. That is a that is a dangerous weapon to use around your teammates. Is even the neutral swing is like a is a knockdown. So it's a fantastic suit, though, no doubt. <laughs> it's a powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna scoot over. I can see that low health bar over there. So tantalising. <laughs> Just managed to tag that Mark II, full armor Mark II. Sorry. And then get a nice combo in on it. Is that GM Night Seeker Space type? Didn't get the tackle this time. Did manage to get hit on him though and do some more damage. Just knocked over. There's a bit of a bit of chaos going on here in the last 20 seconds. If I'm lucky, I should be able to help take out these other couple of suits. Get my eye fixed on that MLRS. But there's that Night Seeker. Boom, taken out. And now I'm actually finally going to use my Vulcans here, so... But it looks like the Gazelle is going to get him from behind. Nice, with that power attack. Awesome. So yeah, we did pull away just in the last 10 seconds there, but that's what you want. You want to secure that victory. Nice. Like I say, Anvil Gato would be proud of me, hopefully. Even though he's the enemy, you idiot! <laughs> but yeah, uh, put good work. Uh, beat my rival. I get top damage dealt. It's not too bad. Uh, We'll just see the next scorecard now, and we'll see what position I came in. Okay, I came in first. Good job. Uh, five kills and two deaths. Not too shabby, to be fair. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that round. Uh, I certainly enjoyed playing it, and I enjoyed making the intro for it. Uh, but, yeah, that's probably going to do it for today. If you're rolling for the the jam roof in, I hope you get it. If you get anything else cool, though, let me know. Uh, because I mean, I'm interested to know. I love gacha pools and I love to see what people get. So yeah, drop me a little comment down below. But yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for today, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Instant Virtual Boy, signing out.